a swarm of cameras and reporters, R. Kelly walking out of jail Monday night to a waiting ban. The R&B star spent the weekend in jail. His bail was set at $1 million on Saturday. He was required to pay 10% of that or $100,000 in cash, but reportedly wasn't able to get the money until now. Earlier in the day, he walked into a Chicago courtroom wearing an orange jumpsuit. He's been charged with 10 counts of aggravated sexual abuse. Aggravated criminal sexual abuse is a class two felony with a sentencing range of three to seven years per count. Prosecutors say the allegations span 12 years and four victims. Three would have been underage at the time. Attorney Michael Avenatti, who represents one of the victims, says there are videos of the alleged abuse. The video tape depicts Mr. Kelly engaged in illegal sexual assault of a 14-year-old girl. A recent documentary airing on Lifetime called Surviving R. Kelly brought the singer back into the spotlight. It details years of sexual abuse allegations against him. Kelly's attorney has publicly said he does not believe the accusers. As far as I know, they're all lying. I'm a criminal defense lawyer, okay? I've got a client who says he's innocent, pled not guilty. That's our position. He was driven away in a black van trailed by a news helicopter. R. Kelly is out of jail for now as prosecutors continue to build a case against him. And he's been barred from contact with the alleged victims or any witnesses in this case. And the judge also banned him from contact with anyone under the age of 18. R. Kelly is due back in court on March 22nd. He has pleaded not guilty to all charges.